Vaccination mandates may be controversial, but they're nothing new. In fact, there may be one of the reasons our nation exists. News 12's Virginia Yui explains. In recent weeks, protesters on Long Island and across the nation have raged against government efforts to compel them to get the COVID-19 shot through vaccine mandates. I will not be forced. I will not be bullied. One congressional lawmaker tweeted that vaccine mandates were un-American. In reality, they are deeply rooted in U.S. history. One helped win the American Revolution. The British colonies turned to the United States were some of the world leaders in doing inoculation and vaccination. Medical historian Andrew Wehrman says the U.S. owes its founding as a nation partly to the smallpox vaccine mandate. In 1777, a smallpox outbreak devastated the ranks of the Continental Army under George Washington's command. The loss of soldiers threatened American defeat to Great Britain in the Revolution. That's when Washington mandated inoculations for his troops. And very few soldiers get, get sick from smallpox afterward. It was one of the most crucial decisions that Washington made during the war. Without it, uh, he wouldn't have had an army in the field. Wehrman says the soldiers and civilians supported the vaccine mandate as a way to win the war. The need for mass immunization was forged in the same fire as the revolution, a need for common good. In the decades that followed, that mindset began to change, with some Americans resisting vaccine mandates for smallpox, polio, and other diseases on the grounds of personal liberty. We were thrusted into the, this position, but we're not going to back down. History is repeating itself today. The deadlines for many workplace mandates have arrived in recent days, often requiring people to have received a COVID-19 shot or face being fired. As was the case in Washington's army, doctors say history shows mandates work to save lives. There's a history of effectiveness and certainly a history through mandates of uh, essentially eliminating uh, uh, certain diseases from being part of our everyday life. Virginia Huey, News 12. Well, Professor Wehrman's research on the history of inoculation in early America will be published in a book next fall.